I want to talk about Lamar Jackson. And I want to talk about Lamar Jackson in a particular sort of context. Not as the best NFL quarterback playing today. And not as perhaps the most likely candidate to lead a team to a Super Bowl in 2020. But in the context of endorsements, because some news crossed my desk that I could not believe, which is that at 23, Lamar Jackson has signed his first endorsement deal. The first one of his entire career. He joins Juju Smith and Schuster, Derwin James, Patrick Mahomes as being sponsored by Oakley, the sunglasses. So those are the official sunglasses on Lamar Jackson's face now when he wears them. He's also one of three athletes that Oakley signed under the age of 25, right, since they signed Mahomes. The other being, again, of course, Smith-Schuster. And Juju is his own sort of great marketing engine because Juju is not just a great wide receiver and the best wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's also phenomenal with social media and was very into YouTube, so much so that Cam Newton looked around and said, hey, I can do that. And now I see athletes popping up with YouTube channels trying to be Will Smith. And it's cool. It's great. And I really wish that Lamar Jackson and Big Trust would consider that. Now, the part that I still find to be wild is that it's his first deal. Because this would not have been the case with Tom Brady. Let's not forget Lamar Jackson and the comp is Tom Brady. Because... Only Lamar Jackson and Tom Brady have not only won the NL, uh, NFL MVP, but won it with a unanimous vote. This in a season for which Patrick Mahomes won a Super Bowl. And yet the conversation around him still hasn't reached the tenor where people believe that he is a viable marketing engine. And he's at least that. I don't understand why it took this long. And I don't understand why Nike, Adidas, Louis Vuitton, Under Armour, Reebok, Puma have not signed Lamar Jackson for something. Because the last time that I checked, being an NFL MVP and in the same conversation as Tom Brady, the only other man, makes you one of the most marketable players in the NFL, full stop. And yet, that's not the case with Lamar Jackson, who was on the cover of Madden, which again, makes you one of the most capable marketing engines in the NFL. A man who has inspired his own word in Big Trust. A man who changed the way that you could run your offense following another man that could change the way you run your offense. Because Greg Roman looked at Colin Kaepernick, looked at Lamar Jackson, said, I'm going to make it do what it do, baby. And both of those offenses and both of those quarterbacks with that coordinator have been great. Matter of fact, people forget to Rod Taylor's a Pro Bowl quarterback in that offense at Buffalo. I'm sorry, but like, I'm not sorry. I do believe that this should have happened a long time ago. And with Oakley? Like, no disrespect to Oakley, but you ain't Nike. You are not Adidas. You are not Reebok. Hell, you're not even Under Armour who's trying to back out of their deal with, the, with Cal which might actually come down to about $600 difference. This is Lamar Jackson. This is a Heisman Trophy winner. This is one of the most electrifying players in the NFL on one of the best teams in the NFL that put up 500 yards of offense in the final game that he played in 2019, or 2020, excuse me, in the playoffs. And yet, we're still having this conversation around who Lamar Jackson is, when black folks will tell you exactly who Lamar Jackson is. One of the best players in the NFL. 1B, if not 1A, when it comes to quarterbacks. And isn't Tom Brady one of the most highly paid endorsement laden players in NFL history? Isn't that what you want? Don't you want that guy with those credentials? Because I feel like we would be having a totally different conversation if this was Josh Allen. And not Lamar Jackson. And then I went trying to look at how many of these dudes got deals. Because, like, Baker Mayfield got deals. Okay? You no. Know? Even Josh Rosen got deals. 
So what does it say that Lamar Jackson's first deal comes eight months after he is the league's unanimous MVP, achieving a status that only one other man in the history of the league has achieved? In a league that is notorious for going, no, I got my favorite. I'm going to put, I'm going to pull from my favorite. On a team that everybody believed was going to make the AFC Championship game and that the team that won that AFC Championship game was going to win the Super Bowl. Turned out to be right. Just some people picked the wrong team, right? Kansas City Chiefs, who were good for a different reason. And then when I look at what Lamar Jackson it might be capable of in 2020, I want all the Lamar Jackson stock I could possibly get my hands on. You return Mark Jackson, or Mark Jackson, excuse me, uh, Mark Andrews. I got NBA on the brain. You return Hollywood Brown. You have a great offensive line. You got Mark Ingram and Justice Hill in the backfield, along with J.K. Dobbins. You get to add Malik Harrison. Like, you, you're you going to be good. And he's going to be the best player on a very, very good team. In a really fascinating division. So when we talk about NFL pedigree, and we don't talk about, for instance, Dak Prescott got more endorsements than Lamar Jackson? Like, that's wild to me. Like, I, I think that Dak Prescott is the right quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. I understand I'm in the minority on that. But I don't understand how Dak Prescott is more marketable than Lamar Jackson. Like, Dak Prescott was making about $25 million a year in endorsements the last couple of years. He was endorsed by Dove Secret. The deodorant for women. What are people actually looking at if they don't think that Lamar Jackson got this kind of loot? Like, he can make you tons of money. The man's got tremendous fashion sense, and if nothing else, he's going to be flamboyant in his choices. Now, as soon as he gets himself, you know, a wave kit or an S-curl, and he get himself the sponge brush, and he get rid of that taco meat, you know, it's going to be all right. By the way, I cannot stand the taco meat. I cannot stand the nappy head. I just don't see the reason. I don't see the reason, man. Have a natural. Pick it out. Pick out your natural, okay? Hit it with the sponge brush, okay? There's no reason for you to be walking around with matted hair. None. And I got locks. So if anybody would have cause to have matted hair, it's me. But my girl makes sure you can see the scalp on my skull, Okay? And yet, that is the worst thing that I could possibly say about Lamar Jackson. Because that dude has done everything and then some. The 32nd pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. The dude everybody assumed wasn't going to be very good. Turns out to be better than Baker, better than Josh Allen, better than Josh Rosen, better than Sam Darnold, better than all these cats that we spent too much wind talking about. And now, once again, we're seeing that there's tremendous value to be had in an NFL unanimous MVP. And yet, I'm the person yelling at you about the value. I'm telling you, man, some of the times this stuff is not as hard as you think it is. Sometimes it's actually you looking a gift horse in the mouth and saying, I don't know, those teeth are just too pearly white for me. What? Nah, man. Go get this Lamar Jackson money. Because I thought we was all in the business of making money. And if you can brand yourself with that cat and you can flash his credentials, you know what you're going to have. Add to that, I'm really excited about their defense. I'm really excited about the possibility of them being able to go get Tony Jefferson, who remains unsigned. Deshaun Elliott is next up, and he ain't played a lot of football since leaving the state of Texas, right? You have dudes. And you got a dude in John Harbaugh that knows how to manage the team. And you also have a squad that can afford to part ways with one of the best free safeties in football. Go sign up Big Trust. Okay? Make it happen. And when you're talking about him, talk about him like you do Tom Brady. Okay? Talk about him like you do the Great White Hope. Because this man is going to break all of those records and then some if Patrick Mahomes doesn't get there first.